Hi guys, I'm Adam from the Ironing Bull Sloth channel. And I'm Baby Sloth. And today we're going to be looking at converting the output of one of these devices to HDMI. Yes. Yes we are. Now this is a clone. This is actually running the Harlequin 128K. And this particular clone has got RGB out or composite video. Now, the issue that I've had is trying to find a device that will convert RGB into HDMI. For example, Amazon or eBay or a wash with cheap devices like this. It provides SCART in and HDMI out. Now the issue with this, we'd think, oh look, SCART in. But the issue with this, this will only take a composite video in and convert it to HDMI out. And the composite picture is not very good quality. As you've seen on one of my previous videos, Chucky Egg video. Yeah, I didn't Just, like that. You didn't like the quality of the video? Too hard. Well, the game was too hard for you, was it? So. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to go and check out the poor quality video, please watch that Watch that video to see what I mean. What I've got to replace that is a brown box. Is a brown box. So let's it's move <laughs> with a label. So let's move to Specky out of the way. We've already opened. We have already opened in this case. It's a little bit of a cheat. He was but too excited. <laughs> I was too excited. This is the open source scan converter. Now this device will take an RGB in and convert it to HDMI. So what you get in the box, you get this quick start guide. Anyway. Why do I say it like that? <laughs> because it's funny. But anyway, moving on. So what do we have in here? We it's have the proper book. It is like a proper book. Look at that. We have some information, overview, buttons, connectors, blah de blah de blah. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. So let's put that to the side for now. Bad book. We get our orange remotes. So what do you have in here? You have the remote control. Can I have that? Can you have what? The remote. No, you can't. But oh. you can use it. But most importantly, the device. Ta-da! Okay. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta -da. Whatever. Green and blue things. So it's got all sorts of things. We've got AV1 in RGB SCART. So this people is what we can use for the spectrum you have got v2 in v3 in which is vga okay what else have we got we've got the output which is hdmi we've got um, audio in and out and audio 3 in you have some buttons here for controls and the display so that's the device itself let's put that to the side then I've got to try and get out the power supply. It's stuck. All right. So we At least have... we didn't have to cut open the box and be dangerous with my <laughs> You've got a thing about being dangerous. Right. Yeah, you should always be safe with knives. We should always be safe with, ni with knives, and we should point this out to the viewers. So with the power supply, we have a European adapter. We have, I think that this is the States. Oh, oh the cat wants to be in the video again. Yeah, that we is... have the states. I'm not sure what this country Why is. is. Like... I think that might be. No, 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 no. I think you were going to say France. They yeah. would be using yeah. this. Don't know what that is. Maybe somebody wants to comment. And obviously for us, we have the UK one. So let's. Why do I have to be cameraman? <laughs> Why do you have to be cameraman? I'm always cameraman. You're such a good skill at cameraman. <laughs> Don't make people feel ill. <laughs> so let's have a quick power of this device on. Power it on. Power. So. Give Blop. it the power. More power. Okay, now I'm just going to lean over you here. If you keep on the device. Uh, <laughs> just going to lean I over. Plug it in. Turn it on. Okay, so first thing we know is nothing happens. First thing we notice, nothing happens. Look. But on the top, we've got power switch. Toggle it on. Can I ask? I wanted to push it. Okay, hang on. <laughs> there you go. Can you manage? I can't see it. Which way? Toggle it on to the right. Yay! Okay. So you first thing we see something. here, <laughs> you did something. Yay! We have the OSSC firmware 0.82A. 
0.82 when I had a quick look on the website. That is the latest firmware. 2014 to 2018. 18. And that's the latest one. It was released, I think, November 2018. And the A is to do with the fact that this will give us audio on the output. And I want to point out this. This is quite important. So we've got an HDMI output. It has video and audio out. And the reason for this is we have got the version hardware version 1.6. If you have the 1.5 version, then you have a DVI output with a separate audio out. Okay, now you can cycle through the different inputs with this switch here, look, AV1, RGBS, no sync, RGSB, no sync, that's obviously no sync because I have nothing connected at the moment. Uh, well, you can cycle through the different inputs. And uh, the remote control, let's pop that down. I'm gonna press. Pop the remote control out, so. This is actually just a generic remote control. Just that, colored. Well, yeah, it's had this sticker. I don't know if you can pick this up very well on the iPhone camera, what? whether it shows it out. This is actually a sticker that's been stuck over the top. If you change that there we go. angle, you can see that in light. Yep, so you can see it, brilliant. So this has been custom made for this device. Uh, not the remote, sorry, but the sticker, and it's just been programmed to the remote as to res for this specific device. So. Here we go. Look, we can change. Oh, magic! Change the different inputs, and there's different profiles the to load. And that will be your brother coughing away in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> the green light was flashing. There's other things we can do on this. We can Press turn the the um, backlight off. Apparently, let's go back to this. Uh, no, it's not turning off. I turned this off before, maybe because we have no input on it, but. What we will be doing later on today is we will be recording a video using this. Using this, and we're going to be playing Galaxian. We will be using the orange box. <laughs> the orange box, as you refer to it. So we will be using, that. using the Spectrum. We will be using this device. So please watch the video to find out more about this device. This is the DIV MMC Future, which was from the future was 8-bit. Dot com. <laughs> okay, so hopefully uh, later on, after this, in a week's time, you'll be able to watch our video of Galaxian. And I really like this. So, yeah. I've had a quick play with this already, like Harrison said. I was so excited when I got it. I could not wait. I just had to get it out of the box. Yeah. So, that is it. Yes, it costs more than this. Yes, it costs quite a lot more than this. However, this does exactly what I want. Yes. Yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs> so, uh, is there anything else to add, Harrison? No. No? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. What, 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 what? I want that remote. You want that remote? It's it's my remote. But but when we come to do our recordings of games with this device, then... I can keep it. No, you can't keep it, you can use it. You can press the appropriate input. And by the way, this is not just obviously for the Spectrum and this input. Um, I've looked online and there's all sorts of profiles you can download to make your old consoles look fantastic on fantastic. modern LCD televisions. Fantastiche. Fantastiche on minor Fernseer. What did you just say? I don't know, I think I pronounced stuff completely wrong but there we go anyway thank you very much for watching everybody bye. and uh, bye